Question one. So the best thing to do here is to think about it like this. So when I do these, I work out the answer to that first. Right? So that just means five, plug in five into this over here. So if we just work out what input of five is, um, so two times five plus five over two, that's going to be 7.5. So the answer to this is 7.5. So in other words, we just do this. And we just pop 7.5 into there. So that's going to equal 2 times 7.5 plus 5, 7.5 minus 3. Get your calculator out, do it on there if you want to, okay? And that's going to be, that's 40 over 9, or if you prefer, 4.4 reoccurring. Right, so on part B, so it's maybe where things are getting a little bit trickier, right? Nice two marks to begin with, right? State the range of possible answers that we could actually get. Now, the first thing to bear in mind is think about why it asks us to do this 5 to start off with. X has to be more than or equal to 5. So, actually, this 7.5 is quite significant. Now, if you think about how X gets larger, think about what's going to happen. Well, what's actually going to happen is that as X gets really big, kind of sort of forget about the plus 5, minus 3. They're not going to make a lot of difference. So the range of answers that we're going to possibly have is that the largest it could actually be is 7.5. And then the smallest it can be, like I said, if you just forget about the plus 5, minus 3, because if you imagine x to be a 1,000, they're not going to make a lot of difference. So actually, the smallest it could be is 2, but it's never going to quite be 2 because of these numbers just here. Now, part C. Part C, first of all, we need to do the inverse. Now, when we do the inverse, remember, the, the uh, this is the easiest thing to do, is just to say y equals 2x plus 5 over x minus 3. And then we're just using y as a vehicle to, to reverse this. So multiply both sides by x minus 3. In other words, we're, we're just trying to get x equals. Um, that's going to be 2x plus 5. Um, multiply this out over here. There we go. Uh, take away the 2x as well from both sides. And that equals 5. Get rid of anything that doesn't contain an x. So let's add 3y to both sides. So I've got xy minus 2x equals 5 plus 3y. Factorise over here. So y minus 2, 5 plus 3y, divide by the y minus 2. So now I always feel slightly unsatisfied by this idea here because it just seems a little bit odd that you're now going to say the inverse function is let's just change these y's to x's. That just seems slightly unsatisfactory. But actually, this is the easiest way of doing this particular question. So that's the, uh, that's the inverse there. Now, the domain, well, the clue's up here, really, right? The range going into it was 2 to 7.5. So the domain of what can come into here is x has to be less than 7.5 and more than 2, or less than or equal to 